That's better. accueille des citoyens de deuxième classe dans le Reich. Veuillez vous inscrire au bureau politique le plus proche. On you are.
went fucking well. There's our man now. Margo sent me. Stay close and keep your head down.
Tabak in Afrika war besser. Who are they? Friends. Renard and his men. They disappeared two days ago. This morning we found them here. What happened? They were preparing for a mission. Renard was caught with a pocket full of detonators. He was a hard man. But he broke under torture and gave the others up. That clown butcher skinned him like an animal. What did you say? The Nazis knew chief of public security, an SS colonel. Before the war, he was some kind of race car driver. Jerker. Yes, that's him. This is his message to the resistance. What was Renard's target? The siege gun at the Lycée Theater. It's a symbol of Nazi power in this part of the city. The sound it makes is deafening. Every time it fires, the people of Paris lose hope. Then we'll give him something to cheer about. I thought you might feel that way. Speak to Bryman. Take this. Okay, off with you. A man by the name of Horst is organizing an underground street race in the city. I thought you might be interested. Skylar. Devlin, it's so good to see you, my friend. Likewise. What's the score? The Nazis have located one of our safe houses in the countryside, a place where we hide the women and children from the Gestapo. They are dialing the house's coordinates into the siege gun. Can you warn them? Nine. There isn't time. Then we'll have to do the job quick. Take these. You're going to need a powerful explosive charge to destroy the gun. Achtung! Achtung! Einsatzbereitschaftsprotokoll ist aktiviert. Zehn Minuten bis zum Abschuss. Beginn Flugbahn Justierung. We need to slot that technician before he pulls the trigger. Thank you, sir. We'll see how proud you are. With my fucking boot up your arse! There, 
Technische Sabotage! Ah. Acht Minuten. Rückstoff ist zum Beginn letzter Überprüfung. You're shooting at me! To the end of the first target of the Panzer, the Ausgangssperre heute 15 minutes später in Kraft. Not 7 minutes. Good, good, good. That's a knapp. Bought myself a little time. Sie mir Ihre Reisepapiere. Mhm. Die Papiere scheinen in Ordnung zu sein. Thank you kindly. Where's Skylar? Miss Sinclair is away on business. She sends her warmest regards. Right then. I don't like you, and I trust you even less. I'm only here because of what you said about Jules. If this is one of your tricks, we're about to find out just how blue that blood of yours is.
I must confess I find your candor most refreshing, Mr. Devlin. In my line of work, honesty is the rarest of vices. Secrets are the currency of my profession. Your friend Jules was killed to protect a rather important secret. Did you know that? Dierker thought we were working for you. Perhaps, but Jules had to die in any case. He had seen too much, as did you. The Doppelseek factory. What's really going on up there? Are you familiar with the concept of atomic fission? Uh, I've never been one for poofy cocktails. I'm sure the barman will be relieved. But it's beside the point. Your friend Jules was killed to protect the secrecy of certain enemy plans. Plans which are critical to the German war effort. I intend to shatter those plans and destroy the men behind them. How about it, Mr. Devlin? Up for another game? Aye. What'll it be this time? Miss Sinclair will return shortly to brief you on the next phase of the operation. If you can pull this one off, they'll give you the Victoria Cross. Who? Is that some sort of medal? The VC is my government's highest honor. Then I'll know what to wipe me arse with. Let's call it a case of scotch. Now you're talking. Cheers. boy. I don't typically mix business and pleasure, but sometimes I can't help myself. For a moment there, I thought you were dead. Not quite. But the bastards get an A for effort. If this isn't a social call, what are we talking about? You're going to help us take a man from a train, then drive the train over a cliff. Sounds like fun. Ever blown up a bridge? Not yet, but I'm a fast learner. Who's the punter? Dr. Klaus Kessler, chief engineer for the Nazi secret atomic weapons program, codenamed Volholm. The secret that got Jules killed. You were practically on top of Kessler's lab when you were captured. Bloody bad luck. Poor Jules. Bad luck for the fucking crows. <laughs> Ihre Reisepapiere. Vielen Dank. Sie dürfen passieren. So what exactly is this? Kidnapping? Defection. Dr. Kessler wants to switch sides. The Nazis will kill him before they let that happen. So you want the crowds to think he's already dead? Spot on. When we destroy the train, the Nazis will assume Kessler has been assassinated. By the time they realize what really happened, Kessler will be in London, working for our side. Downright devious. That's Bishop's style. Our first order of business is to wire the bridge with demolition charges. I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Don't tell me you don't like to get dirty. You know better than that. I just like to see you work up a sweat. Set the charges under the bridge where the structure looks weak. And to trigger them? The last charge goes on the tracks. It'll set off the rest when the train hits it. Bleeding diabolical. I'll be right back.
some of these struts have seen better days. about here. about here. One more on the tracks now. Supposed to stay on the inside. <clears throat> Will Cox is waiting for us at the train station. Let's get moving. 
If Kessler is the Kraut's golden goose, why risk sending him to France? He's here to convert the Paris Cyclotron for military use. They couldn't send somebody else? They did. The first engineer they sent died suddenly in his sleep. How'd you hear? I was lying next to him at the time. I thought you didn't mix business with pleasure. His pleasure. My business. So Bishop's got you turning tricks for him now? We're prepared to use any means necessary to stop the Nazis from acquiring an atomic bomb. I see. They handing out medals for that? Don't be an ass. Wilcox is just over there. Make your report. The train will be arriving shortly. The target's in a private car near the locomotive. And the radio transmitter? In the caboose. You'll need to sever communications once you're aboard. Shite. This is getting complicated. I'll be waiting to pick you up near the bridge. Whatever happens, make sure that train reaches the river. Sean, if anything goes wrong, if you can't get Kessler out, kill him. You tell Bishop to go and shite. I'll get your boy out, but I'll not be your damn trigger man. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a train to catch.
must be Kessler's car. Kessler, you in there? <coughs> Hold tight. I'm coming back for you. Now for Kessler. There's no stopping us now. You Kessler. Bishop sent you. Are you working alone? I. I'm sorry to hear that. Dr. Kessler. Yeah? Got your passport? Yeah. Put it in his pocket. Time to go! No, no! No, please! Don't! Ah! Nicely done. Dr. Kessler, I presume? An honor to meet you. You've made a courageous decision. One day even your own country will thank you. I'm not doing this for my country. Or are yours. The crowds will be swarming all over this place. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, Sean, I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. What happened? Our flight home has been cancelled. We'll need to stash Kessler somewhere in the city. At least until we figure out a way to get him out of the country. I know a place. I'll drive. How long before the crowds realize our boy wasn't on that train? We estimate it will take the better part of a week to sift through the wreckage and identify the bodies. We'll be gone by then. I'm afraid that is impossible. I'm not going anywhere without Maria. Excuse me? My daughter, General Eckhart, is holding her somewhere in Paris. He said he would let her go free once I had finished building his instruments of death. When he learns what has happened, he'll kill her. I'm sorry, Dr. Kessler. Your daughter was not part of the deal. I'll look into it once you're safely out of the country. This is not a negotiation. Without Maria, the deal is off. I will slit my own wrists before I build bombs for your government. Jesus, keep the Papiere in Ordnung sind, haben Sie nichts zu befürchten. Zeigen Sie mir Ihre Reisepapiere. Alles in Ordnung, bitte weitergehen. Roy, where'd we leave off? This is not a negotiation. Without Maria, the deal is off. I will slit my own wrists before I build bombs for your government. Jesus, keep your neck as on dock. If your girl is here, we'll find her.
So where is it that we're headed? I'll give you a hint. How do you like your steak? <laughs> Bloody, of course. Are you asking me to dinner? You always did have awful timing. Maybe later. But first we'll knock up a friend of mine. He can help us with Dr. Kessler. And your friend is a chef? I gather he fancies himself quite a renaissance man. I can't speak for his cooking, but he does live in a slaughterhouse. You keep peculiar company, Devlin. Perhaps it's time you found a better class of friends. <laughs> oh, I tried, believe me. But the classy folks will have nothing to do with me. Okay, Doc. We're almost there. You know better than to bring strangers here. Friends. They need a place to lay low for a few days. This is not an hotel. Nor a brothel. Oh, feeling a touch homesick, are we, darling? Ah, an English aristocrat. Does your father know you are here, girl? I expect he's too busy buggering the chambermaids. We Sinclairs are always up for a bit of rough. I'll vouch for her. And where are you? I'd mind me manners. She's got friends. Not the sort you want to cross. What does that mean? Do I have to fucking spell it out for you? She's a British agent. Why have you come here? You rubbed the lamp, Monsieur Godin. And voila, here I am to grant your heart's desires. You know who I am. <laughs> of course. We know all about you. I've even read your awful books. My superiors in London are your biggest fans, Luke. They'd like to offer you their help. What kind of help? Oh, guns, medicine, radio equipment, whatever you require. In exchange for your cooperation in certain covert operations. Ah, please excuse my poor hospitality, Lady Sinclair. Come, join us for a glass of wine. It seems we have much to discuss. We should go see what's bothering Veronique. She cannot be trusted. Who? Skylar? I won't argue with that. I never understood what you see in her. Look... Skyler and I... well, it's complicated. Is this really what you wanted to talk about? No, of course not. Our friend Bryman has been listening in on German wire traffic. He tells me the whole city is buzzing about some scientist who went missing after some train accident. You don't say? It's time you told me what you've gotten yourself into. It's safer if you don't know. Do you not trust me? Aye, and I need you to trust me. How goes the revolution? We've got something special coming up. Something... big. Might as well tell me now. You Frenchies never could keep a secret. Not yet. Soon. First, we gather our strength. I need to meet some friends of ours south of the river. We're going to need transit papers. And you want me to pay a visit to the Spaniard? <laughs> you have a business arrangement, no? Aye. But I can't say I trust the bastard. Go see Santos, my friend. Find me once you have the papers.
lovely this piece, this car. one. You cannot have it. Glad I left my car in the garage. You have been busy, Irishman. I hear many things. You should be more careful. For a man in your line of work, a reputation can be dangerous. The same can be said of black marketeers who do business on both sides of the pitch. I am a capitalist. I don't give a pig's arse what you call yourself. I need transit papers to operate south of the river. I see. And what business brings you to that part of our lovely city? No business of yours. You know how it works, Irishman. You do a favor for me, I do a favor for you. Name your price then. I'm afraid the price is not negotiable. Come back when you have contraband to cover my expenses. Not smart. Ah! I destroyed a passenger train filled with innocent people. Work is good for this soul. Bend your net and try to sell. Someone said Göring himself was in the train. You first.
You saved many lives by killing that informant, Sean. The people of my flock are grateful for your help. A man who would sell his neighbors to the Gestapo deserves a hole in his head. A year ago, I might have disagreed with you. But these old eyes of mine have seen too much. What's next, Father? I spoke with the Gestapo officer who recruited the man you killed. What? Why? I told him I had information about certain... Uh, undesirables hiding in my neighborhood. A list of names and hiding places. I offered to bring it to his office. But you plan to deliver another sort of present instead. Don't you, Father? Indeed, I do. I hear you used to drive cars for a living. Aye. And fix them, too. I need a wheel man. Someone who knows these streets and isn't afraid to face the Nazis on their own terms. Then you've come to the right place, Father. I'm in. We are going to need a car. The faster, the better. Come on, then! I'll get us some wheels! They won't let you in the place. These Gestapo officers think I'm a joke. An old wine old priest, peddling secrets for liquor money. They probably won't even bother searching my back. Either way, I will see them in hell. You're a tough old bastard, father. I'll give you that. Thank you, my son. I am here to deliver the list of fugitives your commander requested. <laughs> I think you had better say a few Hail Marys, priest. Go on in. Wait for me here. This won't take long. Good luck, father.
Drive, Sean! Drive like the devil! Hang on, father. on your heart, Sean. I want you to know I am here for you. Would you like me to hear your confession? No, thank you, Father. My pain isn't a burden that needs to be lifted. It's the fire that keeps me warm. Keep in line. These lads are on the watch. Sean, I'm glad you came. What's happened, Padre? The Gestapo officer I was supposed to meet with wasn't inside the office when the bomb went off. He escaped the blast. Does he know you delivered the bomb? No. The fool never suspected that this doddering old priest might have a hand in the attack. He's so sure of my innocence that he asked me to officiate at his wedding. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ. Ah, excuse me, Father. But what woman would marry a man like that? A French girl. Barely more than a child. He threatened to have her family deported if she didn't accept his proposal. Not exactly true love, then. We will be doing the bride and her family a favor. How's that? We are going to kill the groom, along with his groomsmen. At a wedding? Doesn't that seem a tad sacrilegious? Ah, the Lord moves in mysterious ways, my son. What do you say? Amen, Father. The Feigling denkt, er kann sich von mir verstecken!
Hard work is good for this. You're not soul. a bad sort. Not at all. Someone said. Got to get inside and warm up. That car is oh, now started. you are in trouble! Injuring any civilians. Shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. If any man should object to this. Ah, yes, if any man. Great fucking time. Consider that a fucking divorce. Go now, my son! The Lord will be my shield! But he expects you to save your own ass!
five days labor for a third day's pay. I can see you as ghosts. I didn't see anything. I wasn't even here. There's people fighting for you out there. Where I can shop is a black market. See, I told you someone climbs around in the buildings. Oh, it's fun, but hell on me hands. Chicken. Dead. You killed him. Hey, you're new. If I don't sell something soon, uh. I'll quit. It's honest work. starving. 